Hey everybody, Adam Savage from Tested, and I am standing in the beautiful Jacob Javits Convention Center on the west side of New York City because we are at New York Comic Con, and I am with my friend, puppet master, master maker, Rick Lyon. Oh, and Ghostbuster, Rick Lyon. Rick, it's really good to see you, man. And you. Thanks How are for you? having me over here. You've been well? Oh, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Welcome to New York. Thank you. I, so tell me, look, tell me about your Ghostbusters. Tell me how Rick oh. Lyon puts together a Ghostbusters. Well, this is, you know, everybody has their own approaches to, to cosplay. Some yeah. people go for super screen accuracy, mm -hmm. and, and I really have a lot of respect for that. Some people just do whatever they can with whatever they have on hand. Mm -hmm. uh, some people put stuff together with cardboard, you know, which is great. I, I, I love all of those approaches. One of my favorite things, yeah. I love those approaches. I did that when I was in college. I, my, I had a whole backpack made out of chipboard wow because i was taking arch architecture classes and we had to make all our architectural models out of chipboard so i had tons <laughs> of it everywhere so that's what i made my first backpack out of this is a real heinz 57. this is like okay. a massive mix of, of different stuff um it's it's a, a commercially available jumpsuit mm -hmm. that i dyed down to get oh. more appropriate color nice. you know the original ones read gray in some scenes and they're actually khaki yeah. but but they have a cast of gray, so that's what I did. I dyed this down mm -hmm. to make it a little bit more gray. And I got, you know, an original, yeah, yeah. you know, army web belt. My, what this they is, officially is, called the belt gizmo. The belt gizmo Very, looks really great, man. Thank you. It's it's all, it's, this is the dollar store belt gizmo. This you is, know, there's this so is, many people online providing scans and pictures to make I one. I know, that's where I got the file for the printed circuit board. That's great. Uh, but the rest of it is all, these are literally, you know, pens from the dollar store <laughs> that I cut great. into and I sectioned and I took pictures of <gasps> Nixie tubes from the web and oh, I printed I it out that. and I inserted the photos inside the clear tubes. And then the rest of it is all just like bits of styrene and you know, wires that were from it other things. Perfect. Thank you. And somebody, I read online somebody, you know, that's, that's the wonderful thing about cosplay nowadays is that there's all kinds of forums where people share information. Right, and their, and their executions, yeah, right? The, yeah, the access to that information is wonderful and, and people are so sharing. And so this real weird little fitting here mm -hmm, is just lug. something very predictable that you can get at a hardware store. I'd right. never seen before, but it's so perfect for just attaching the phone cord. And then this was a, a circuit board from a dollar store calculator that I just broke into bits and, you know, glued Amazing. together. Um, so the radio looks like a commercial toy. Am I right? I know it is. It's the it's the spirit Halloween thing. Amazing. Which that is looks great. It is great. It is so so accurate. Amazing. I mean, it's hard to beat the spirit stuff. They they really did a wonderful job. It is. And I just covered up some logos and and put a more accurate Motorola uh, MT500 label yeah, on it. Yeah. You know. And uh, you know what? One of the hardest things to find was what's that? A pair of black rubber gloves that I could live with. Really? They're, well, they're almost all too short. Yep, yep, or yep, they're, yep. Or they're up to your elbow. The ones that they had were this weird sort of medium. So that was a that was a real tough find. I had never thought of taking them off my belt. Yeah. I found a pair I liked, but I never put them on. Oh, I don't no, know. It's no, like, they get too hot. Yeah, oh, yeah, they, yeah. You just, you, they're sweaty. All right, um, let's turn around and start to see so the, the other pack, side. Oh, this is, uh, the pack is a Spirit Halloween pack that has been heavily modified. And it's mounted to a real Alice it's frame. Meted, yes, it okay. is on a real Alice pack frame with correct, you know, uh, straps. And, and correct the, waist buckle. Because yeah. the waist buckle on the early Vietnam ones is thin, and a lot of the later ones are all thick. And yes, this is this is screen accurate to the first Ghostbuster movie, mm -hmm. and it was a, one of those eBay finds. Yeah, yeah. And it was a strap that I bought all by itself. Like, mm -hmm. you, you can't find an Alice pack with these kind of straps on them anymore. You just can't. Yes. I wonder so, where that market went. So, the yeah, seriously. So it's, <laughs> a, a, so it's a Spirit Halloween pack, mm -hmm. but I took off their horrible undersized Neutrona wand, and I and I stuck on the oh this Hasbro, is the uh, yeah this is the Hasbro toy, which is really marvelous. I and mean, bang for the buck, it's extraordinary. I can't. Uh, this is what something I keep saying because I'm going to do a show and tell on this soon. Is how good a time it is to be into cosplay because of oh, the way the great. companies are making stuff. I appreciated specifically how they went for the worn look down here, like this is beaten up. Oh yeah, That's no, the the weathering on this is actually. I haven't done a repaint on this. Yeah. Amazing. This is this is as it is out of the box. Um, the one thing I really want to do is I want to change out their horrible rubber, you know, tape on. What it. I notice a lot of people doing is just finding some uh, fiberglass tape and going over that, and it oh, looks great. Yeah. No, I want to. Yeah. I, this is actually a separate. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Don't cross <laughs> it's the It's actually streams. it's actually a separate piece that you can cut off. Oh, that's great. I had no but, idea. But but part of the grip is missing. 
Gotcha. So, so, you, so, have you, have to, so you have to actually remanufacture have an insert, it. Yeah. You have to have an insert and then retape it, which is my plan eventually. But the nice thing about this gun was that you could easily take off the V-hook and make it compatible with the V-hook that's Amazing. on the Spirit Pack. Oh my gosh. I also have the Maddie wa collector wand, but completely incompatible V-hook. It's molded into the Maddie yes. one, right? And I yeah. also, just for, for shits and giggles, the Spirit Pack, the loom tube is too small. Yeah, yeah. So I just kind of split it. And one of the things that they actually had an issue with, even on the original packs, is that you that that yeah that needs a, to rotate right. the the oh. tube needs to rotate as you, the change orientation with the gun and if you see in the original movie packs they totally fudged it they just have like a screw and a twist tie or something oh, I had it's no crazy idea. Oh. it's crazy so i actually just put a uh, zip tie on this that's loose enough that it still turns but um, that's something that i'd like to swap out the, yeah, yeah. to a bigger loom tube that actually fits this thing and i even left this is an old spirit pack, yeah. not the newest ones. The newest ones have upgraded electronics with the correct uh, sequence of lights on yeah. the cyclotron. Um, cyclotron. Yeah. And this is not, but I left the switch. I took it from the old gun and yeah. I left it on here so I can still, oh. just for, you know, just for laughs, I can still activate that. Oh, that's great. You know. My big question is how does it feel to be out and about again and cosplaying? I said, so we saw each other in Florida, yeah. which was, uh, super crowded, um, but really lovely to see everybody out and about. How do you, how is it for you? Well, it's interesting because the first, the first con that I went to, I was very apprehensive. Yeah. And, and it's been, you know, two years. And one of the things that I really began to appreciate about people who go to cons is that they're all very like-minded mm -hmm. and they're all serious about, you know, compliance and everything. Mm -hmm. that, and so there's a, there's a security that I felt that I didn't think I was gonna feel. A self-selected group, yes, it's true. And they, it, they it, it, very specifically, it's not something that I have been worrying about at the cons, I appreciate that too. Yeah, no, it's it's been, and of course here in New York, it's really great because yeah. there's a vaccination mandate. Yeah. Everybody here has to have proof of vaccination to enter. Yeah. And that, you know, I'm comfortable with bringing my daughter on Sunday. Yeah. I This year, it's the first time I ever thought to say it, people are asking me for pictures all the time. And it's very gratifying, actually. And for the first time, I appreciated, you know, wouldn't it suck if I got all dressed up and nobody took a picture of me? Yeah. Wouldn't it be really awful <laughs> if I went to all this bother and nobody noticed or wanted a picture? And uh, so that's actually been great. That's it, why you come to the cons. You come to exult a alongside well, everybody it's, else. Well, it's like you said in your, in your TED talk. It is a communication. Mm -hmm. You know, it yeah. is an interchange with like-minded people. And, and, and sometimes even not like-minded people yeah. who, who get drawn into that conversation. And that's the nice thing about cosplay is that it, it crosses so many borders and it, and it encompasses so many interests yeah. and so many different types of people. There's people who just get dressed up in a Halloween costume and go, and they're cool with that. And I think that's great. There's people who work for years yeah. on a costume like these guys over here. Yeah. <laughs> and that's great. And then there's people who just go and watch and take pictures. And that's also great. I'm, uh, I'm going to wear my Ghostbusters costume tomorrow. Rick, thank you uh, so much, man, for, for coming you. out and showing me your beautiful way. My webs. pleasure. All right. Have a good time. Adam and Rick, we are out. Yes.